Hi, my name is uh, Steve Stahl. Uh, I live in uh, it's kind of the top of uh, New Jersey near the Ramapo River. Um, we have a little under an acre here, so uh, after watching years and years of HGTV and seeing nothing that represents G in it, uh, we decided to uh, maybe do some little, uh, little episodes from our own yard. Um, my son has his own YouTube um, channel, so I figured <laughs> after watching some of his stuff uh, under the Tune and Moose channel, uh, he does some pretty funny stuff, so I thought the old guy could maybe uh, give it a shot as well. Uh, so uh, you just probably saw a little, uh, it appeared to be a creature in the background, but that's uh, Jersey, our yellow lab. Uh, again, me and my, my wife, we have about a little under an acre here in uh, Oakland, New Jersey. Uh, it's the middle of, or the end of winter here. Um, kind of miserable out, a rainy day, but uh, we thought we'd take you through a, a year in the garden here. Um, everything has lost its leaves, looks kind of dead right now, as my daughter said when we moved here from California. Uh, why are all the trees dead here? So uh, I assure you in about a month uh, it won't look the same. So what we'd like to do is uh, walk you through uh, all the gardens and everything that we have here. Uh, I have no special training in gardening. Uh, when I was nine years old, my father introduced me to a program out of the University of Toronto, uh, Tagging Monarchs. Uh, this program, uh, all the thousands of people that were involved in it, eventually led, after many years, to the discovery of the, where the monarchs go in Mexico. Uh, that kind of got me hooked. Uh, then I started Butterfly Gardens. Uh, my grandparents uh, I used to spend the summers up in gold country, up in Volcano, California. Um, I would bring a lot of things home. Uh, if you remember these uh, Folgers, had these coffee cans. Absolutely greatest thing ever for a kid. You'd pop uh, slice holes in it for breathing uh, holes and uh, you can bring home all kinds of animals. My mom used to tell me don't bring anything home alive. Well, uh, that never worked out quite well. Uh, the yard was always full of lizards and snakes and everything. And then my um, uh, other grandma used to take me on uh, trips all around California where we would uh, travel through the deserts and the mountains and we'd pick up wildflowers along the way. Highly illegal now. Back then, uh, we just didn't know. It could have been, I didn't know. But do not ever take anything out of the wild unless you have the landowner's permission. It's highly illegal, you get fined, and we like to keep our wild populations of wildflowers where they are for everyone to enjoy. However, if you do have uh, the owner's permission and they're going to bulldoze the darn things, uh, I highly recommend you save them. Uh, that's what we do. We go to construction sites and uh, we save wildflowers and if we run across small animals we bring them back to our yard. Um, we replanted everything and uh, now we have a pretty nice habitat. We're a, a national wildlife habitat and a, a North American Butterfly Garden Association uh, garden. We're registered. We have nice little signs out front uh, saying so. Um, and uh, our yard used to be 22 years ago when we moved here, nothing but ivy and overgrown saplings. Uh, we, now we've uh, got rid of all the saplings, got rid of most of the ivy, and uh, we pretty much have a uh, pretty nice backyard. A lot of creatures, the more natives we plant, no, the more native plants we plant, the more butterfly species, the more songbirds. Uh, we're trying to restore it to how it probably uh, used to be. However, um, you can't always go completely native. There's a lot of plants in the world that we like. Uh, so we collect plants from all over the place and occasionally when we have extra plants uh, we sell them on our, our website SK Wildflower Rescue. We really never have a lot of plants for sale because who, I, you can never have too many plants. So, But on occasion that we do we'll put them for sale out there on the website. So anyway uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick walk around the yard so you can kind of see the yard in its dormant state. Um, Occasionally you'll hear uh, my wife uh, probably telling me something. Uh, I'm out here today while she's cleaning the house. After this episode is over, I'm going to go back inside where I will probably track something in there with my big boots. Uh, so anyway, uh, here we go. Well, let's take a look at the yard. As, prom as promised, I'll show you some of the yard. So that's looking out from the back of the yard to the front of the yard. This is the side yard, another path, there's two paths, and right down there you can probably see, just before we get in the neighbor's yard, is a pond. We put that in there for gray tree frogs. I uh, follow these paths along, 
And you see the lower woodland gardens here through the uh, lilac trees. Uh, all the way down there. And right there at the rocks, that's the border between uh, our yard and the neighbor's yard. And you can kind of follow the same rock wall all the way along. So that's our whole yard there. It's just under an acre at the front yard. You see a basketball court down in this moss covered. Meaning that kind of tells you how much I play basketball. Uh, anyway, there's a lower, there's a small pond down here. Let's see, you can kind of see it there uh, next through the trees there. That's put in for wood frogs. Um, kind of a lot of debris all over. Coming on over here. Install the new hose. Probably not a good time to do it. It's not warm enough. Now it's going to all be kinked up. And that'll be another thing we'll be uh, looking at over the year of product. Um, one thing we'll be doing is reviewing product that we get in the mail. And where we go and buy. So we'll be going to some nurseries around northern New Jersey. Uh, you'll go on us with uh, trips around uh, New Jersey where we try to rescue animals. And... You'll pretty much go with us everywhere and you'll see how the garden thrives uh, anyway uh, this is down here is the frog pond uh, this was installed years ago one of the first things we put in uh, you put one of these in and uh, a lot of things come we even had a, a painted turtle show up one time we added the up above called it a seep to help us filter it out it's got a nice waterfall and then we added this uh, a couple years ago for Jersey to lay in. <laughs> so yes, uh, Spoiled Dog has her own pond. Uh, one of the things we're working on this year is putting in a complete deer fence. Uh, this over here is our greenhouse and our growing area. So that's a quick tour of the yard. You'll hopefully see that this changes greatly over the next few months. and. Uh, we hope you stay tuned and follow us as uh, we garden. We're going to make a lot of mistakes. You'll probably uh, laugh with us or, you know, you know how it is. Uh, <laughs> again, I'm not an expert in this, so we kind of, you're going to see some things that you, you don't quite do right. Uh, you'll see us go to um, nurseries and we'll look at a lot of product and we'll rate them. Uh, we'll order uh, through online nurseries. There's a lot of good online nurseries or a lot of bad online nurseries. So we'll uh, check them all out and uh, give you our ratings. And then uh, we hope you uh, come back and uh, see us next time. Uh, we have ordered some product from American Meadows. Uh, it's our first order from them, but they're highly rated. We ordered some seed and some plants. So we're going to rate them in our next episode. Uh, can't wait for that to come. And then uh, we're probably going to order some salvias from Flowers by the Sea. I highly recommend this nursery. We've ordered from them before. You'll get to see that firsthand. They're uh, probably the premier grower of salvias in uh, North America. So, well, maybe not North America, but United States anyway. So, anyway, uh, hope to talk to you next time. And uh, subscribe um, if you like this. If you can put up my voice. Uh, again, I'm kind of doing this because also I saw an episode of um, uh, Mike Rowe has a new show on Facebook. But uh, I don't have the looks or the voice of Mike Rowe. So, hopefully you'll tune in just to see Jersey stare at the neighbors. Uh, until next time.